Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn about the rhomboid muscles. Let's get started. The rhomboids are a mostly hidden group of muscles on the upper back. The rhomboids originate along the spiny protrusions from the 7th cervical vertebra all the way down to the 5th thoracic vertebra. And they insert along the vertebral or inner border of the scapula. They're named for their rhombus-like shape. The rhomboids move the scapula. Because they anchor to the center of the spine and act on the inner edge of the scapula, when the rhomboid contracts, it will pull the scapula and arm up and in towards the center of the back. However, the rhomboids are mostly hidden underneath the trapezius and latissimus muscles. We only see a little bit of them peeking out in this small triangular gap between the scapula and those other two surface muscles. Because they are deep, they often don't even present from the surface. However, if the arm is pulled out, the rhomboids will stretch and be slightly more exposed. Now let's find the rhomboids from the surface. First we need to find the bony landmarks so we can know where the muscles are attaching. We can locate the whole scapula by finding this flat spot around the deltoids, which is the acromion process. That links to a line, which is the spine of the scapula. And then a right angle down gives us the inner or vertebral border of the scapula. And we can see the same points on the other side too. Then the bump here at the base of the neck is the seventh cervical vertebra, and the furrow down the upper back shows the thoracic spine. It can be difficult to know how far down to place the rhomboids, but the origin here at the spine is roughly the same length as the insertion along the vertebral border of the scapula. So we can take a measurement line from here and duplicate it starting at the seventh cervical vertebra. We simply connect the origin and insertions and we can draw the rhomboids pretty accurately, even though they are mostly hidden, and even when the body is in motion like this pose. If we overlay the trapezius and latissimus on top, we can see that just a small portion of the rhomboids would be visible in this small triangular gap here. Though we won't often see the rhomboids from the surface, it's important to understand their position to analyze the complex muscles on the back. Remember all of these points when drawing. Spend lots of time finding the anatomy on the surface of your reference and draw from observation and memory to help you learn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.